Building in Vernon went up in flames this morning. Crews rushed to Brooklyn Street right around 2 in the morning, but the fire was already too intense. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo has the details. I was sleeping and I could smell it. Waking up to an inferno right outside their windows in Vernon, families were forced to evacuate their homes in the cold early morning hours. A fire in the old mill building on Brooklyn Street burning hot enough to melt their siding. It was just a scary, scary, scary experience to feel that type of heat. Neighbors who called 911. And within 20 minutes, like I said, it was engulfed. Watched as the fire became so dangerous that multiple crews had to surround it from the outside. The walls on the former textile mill posing a safety hazard. They're in danger of collapse. Crews were still tackling hot spots even hours after the first calls came in. Firefighters say that that's happening because while the outside of the mill is made up of brick, the inside is made of something much more flammable. A lot of the floors uh, in this mill structure uh, were heavy timber, wood. So with that, the fire uh, burned and it collapsed in on itself. The building was mostly empty except for one welding company, and fire marshals are investigating how the blaze started. No one was injured, and evacuated families were directed to Rockville General Hospital to stay warm while power and utilities were cut. This building is right on the street, and the residents that are affected live directly across the street. So we need that building knocked over to deem it safe. We are exhausted, but we're happy to be alive. I'm going to tell you that. They'll go back to a neighborhood that's a little less familiar. It's a piece of history gone. Absolutely, absolutely gone. It's really, really sad. I've seen that factory for 30 something years. You know, that's a staple in Vernon. That's how you know you're home. In Vernon, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.